Oh, well, I'm really happy to have you on this call. Um, I was checking out your catalog. The music is fire. Um, I don't really listen to a lot of Florida rappers. So your style was like more hood than I expected. Yeah. So tell me about how your musical sound came about. Oh, uh, honestly, it's like, I feel like it was natural. Like I was just more so like freestyling, that type of thing, you know, like playing with the guys, fooling around on beats and stuff like that. And then it was kind of like their idea, like get in the studio. Like I'm like, I don't know. Like, they're like, man, you need to get in the studio. You need to get in the studio. So whenever I got in the studio, I liked it. Like I liked the process. I liked the hearing me like on the song, but I knew like it wasn't like everybody else's that was out there. I knew I needed practice. And you know, with everything, you get good at it with practice. So like I feel like my style more so is just natural, like, like kind of like just kind of developed between the things I went through through life. Mm -hmm. Yes, you definitely cut, um, touch on some personal things, but yeah, your sound um, is dope. It definitely sounds, it stands out in the Jacksonville, Florida music scene. Would you say the same? Yes, I would definitely say that. Like, I, don't, <laughs> I don't think I sound like nobody, nobody for real. That's just my honest opinion. Like I get that a lot too. Yeah, that's dope. I'm glad I even noticed that. So you're living in Atlanta now? Uh, yes, I just moved down here uh, a couple months ago. Uh, Ooh, I feel like I definitely should have been moved down here because it's, it's definitely a lot, a lot more opportunities for me. Right. Yeah. Tell me about it. Like so far, like what's the difference? Uh, well, in Jacksonville, um, I just feel like it was just like kind of like, I mean, you got, you got, it's harder to get people from your hometown, you know, to, to kind of like mess with something you got going on. So I feel like I had to move down here to kind of like, not I wouldn't necessarily say get a fan base because I already had a fan base, like kind of where I was, but it was more so like to get my name more out there. And I knew Atlanta was kind of like, you know, surrounded by music, it's kind of music culture. So that was really kind of the idea behind that. Yes, I know, like, especially you're doing performances. That's the first thing, you know, so they're gonna look at your hair and be like, wait, you from Florida. Oh, yeah. Do you feel like they've the been time. accepting you? <laughs> Uh, yeah, for sure. Like everywhere I go, like I'm definitely noticed. Like it's definitely people out here too that'll be like, "Hey, hey, you like? I seen you on YouTube." And I like, I feel like that kind of make me feel good too, because it's like, okay, I know my name is actually getting out there. Like, and I ain't, I'm really just now touching the surface. Like, I ain't really like really just did a lot yet to get my name out there, but it's definitely in the works. Yeah, it's just really cool. Like just even looking at your music videos, how you really don't have a lot of interviews out. You really don't talk much, but your music kind of just speaks for itself. Yeah, I would say the same. I would say the same. But like, like I said, like that's that's really in the works now. Like starting to do more interviews, like more podcasts, more things like that to kind of get my name out there. Because I I feel like your fans gotta really like relate to you, and like I can't really just be how I am. Like you know. Yeah, and they're loving you too. And by the way, talking about your name, you probably answered this before, but I would like to know how did you get your name. Uh, that, that came from the guys too. Like it was probably like some years ago. I really just took it and kind of like ran with it. Like just on some plan, like playing around, you know, play fighting type of thing. And that's really how it came about. And then like, you know, like I just kind of like really ran with it with music. And then people started calling me that. And then, then like them around me, like they stopped calling me what they was calling me and started calling me stamps. So I was like, okay, shit, I like the name. Run that's when it. you know you're becoming a star. <laughs> nah, facts, facts. Yes. What was the definition though? Because with me, I feel like when I see a little stamp, I'm thinking like, okay, you're stamping yourself in the industry. What facts, is your personal it, definition? That's facts. I feel the same way. Like with anything you do, like it's just like like when you hit stamp, it's like leaving my mark on something. Like whether it's people, like I'm real big on impressions too. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like your first impression is like kind of like your best impression. People like you, you, you come around people with weird energy, they don't really like want to be around you or even give you a chance, no matter how you're going about your day. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I feel like your first impression is always your best impression. And that's just my thing. Like, I want to leave a mark on anything I do, like, in a good way. Right. You definitely did that. Just me clicking on the first song. I was like, yeah, he's fire. He got it. Yeah, it's real. When did you know you could make it in music? You can make a career. You can make money. And you don't even got to worry about nothing else. You're like, I'm about to get signed. And this is it for me. When did you know that was that? Honestly, uh, it took me a while. Like, even, like, like I said, even when, even when I first started, like, it was still people like, you need to do this. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, even when I was seeing the results from it, it like, it felt good. But I'm like, okay, boom. Like, it was like kind of just like the views and stuff like that. I wasn't like, I didn't start off doing a lot of shows. 
So once I started doing shows and actually getting paid for it, I'm like, okay, this is something I could actually be doing. And I want to say that was probably like 2020. Like mm. I, started, I started like 2019 around that way. I probably started like in a studio around like 2018, 2017. Fresh. And then like put out my first song, like probably like 2019. That's fire. I have to get in your business a little bit. Tell me about that first pay with the show. Cause um, I know that was a big deal. Honestly, it was it wasn't for much, but it was like I was getting paid for something that like like music, like just expressing myself. Like so it felt good, like to actually be getting paid. And it wasn't like it was like I want to say it was like a weed event, like a smoke event. It was something small, but the way people like was messing with me and gravitated towards me, it was like, okay, boom, like this is something I could really be doing. And yeah. then it started to pick up because we would have like we started like recording like certain things and posting certain things on my page to kind of get my following up there. And then when like, I want to say like a, a large amount of people like started to come towards me, like as far as music and like seeing me and like, oh, like, dang, like, I could I could really vibe with him. I could really be around him. I want to say that's when like, I really just like, okay, boom, like, nah, yeah. we need to say, hell yeah. Like, I feel yeah. Cool. It seems like everything's just been on an up and up for you when it comes to the music. Like nothing yeah. really discouraging for real. I, I, the only thing really be discouraging, like really, it'd it be life. Like I, I wouldn't say music. Music is like, like a, like a, like a gift, like in, like an instrument in a sense. Like it's like my way to get away from things. Like so, even when it ain't like going, like I know I can still go towards music. The only, only thing that be discouraging be like stuff that come about towards like life. You know, mm -hmm. like not really more so music. Mm -hmm. You do um touch on a couple of things, a lot of personal things as well. Um, something that's really important to you is family. You know, you're a father and just motivation and success. Um, what would you say is like the main thing that motivates you to keep going with this music thing? Shit, that, you know what I'm saying? Being a father, you know what I'm saying? Uh, understand. Smiling that. when you talk about it. <laughs> yeah, I don't really be talking about it like that. So it's good that I'm, you know what I'm saying? That you actually ask these questions. But uh, I would say being a father, uh, you know, knowing that I have, you know what I'm saying? Little ones like my legacy depending on me. Uh, not only that, I got family too. You know what I'm saying? Like my mama, she she don't stop. Like, you know what I'm saying? She <laughs> in position herself, but she'll still be like, hey son, when you gonna, you know what I'm saying, get me a house. I'll be like, man, mom, that's gonna take time. You know what I'm <laughs> but she already like, asking for the house. Yeah, she already doing it. Like she been doing it. Like, you know what I'm saying? She been new. Like, I feel like she been new. Like, I was always like the problem, you know what I'm saying? The problem child, mm. the bad, you know what I'm saying? But me too. She always <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real. Like, don't be the, I feel like don't be the ones with the most, you know what I'm saying, potential. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like she always knew like he was gonna be, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like that's why she was so hard on me too. Right. Like, but yeah, like being a father, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, I got family depending on me. I got friends that depend on me too. You know what I'm saying? So that that's what really what keep me motivated. Like it, it ain't even, I promise it's not, it has nothing to do with me. Like I keep going because of other people. Like I love making sure other people straight. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure also like seeing the comments and the replies to your music of people just telling you to keep going and on, you're on the right track. That kind of gets you going as well, too. Right. Hell yeah, yeah. Like I ain't gonna lie. Like when, I, when big people <laughs> like start like paying attention and shit like that, it feel good. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Because it's like I really feel like that's where I belong in. Like I, mm -hmm. I should be getting this already. Like I feel like that's my purpose. I done drink this so many times like to where it's like. It feel normal, but it's still, it feel good still. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's something a lot of artists struggle with. Artists that want to get started and like kick down that door. They don't really know how to like, you know, get through that door or like even make a banger. Like you got the song Motion Man that's going crazy on YouTube, yeah. on TikTok as well. You know, that's probably your biggest song so far. I think you've got like 614,000 views. Um, how much has it changed your career this year? uh it definitely puts the button on a lot of stuff like you know what i'm saying as far as uh like i like you said like i, I had music out already but that that was some, a song that like kind of really like stamped the attention like yeah. you know what i'm saying people was already kind of watching but people started tapping in once they once they heard the song and i feel like just that alone uh yeah it got me more shows it got me paid more <laughs> like, obviously like that type of thing yeah. but um did you automatically know it was a banger? I, I would say every song that I make, everybody around me just be like, <laughs> it's gonna be, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that was a that was a song where we was like, okay, yeah, this is, we got one. Like, but 
it's many more like me. I was more so like when I made that song, I was more so like I was ready to make another song. I wasn't mm. like so stuck on this song. It was other people like, man, you need to listen to this again. Like it's yeah. hard. And that's how that that's how that really went. And then when I posted it and I seen it went crazy, I'm like, okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I knew it, but I ain't really, like, I wasn't really, like, just too pressed on it. Is there a song that you feel like people overlooked and then you wish you would have, they would have took in more? Uh, a lot of my music. Like, a lot of the, uh, a lot of the slow songs, too. Like, it was really, like, just me, like, really, like, just touching the mic, trying it. But I feel like it's a lot of hard music that people, like, don't really, like, they tapped into, but I feel like a lot more people could be tapped into it, like. My streams go crazy. Like, I feel like a lot of my songs go crazy, but I will definitely, like, would like them to tune in more to, you know, more so the stuff that I've been put out. But I know how it is. Like, you're going to have fans gravitate towards different songs. They want the hard-hitting stuff. Yeah, facts. facts. Yeah, and they got short attention spans, too, so they just... Yeah. You know, and also the things that you're talking about, like, for example, um, Motion, you know, they kind of... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah the girl, too, was a pretty on. good entertainment... Yeah. That's what's going on. So I, I mean, it's it's easier to rap about stuff that that's going on too when you're going through it. Something that's really humble about your bio that I checked out. You're a fan and you're also a big supporter of NBA YoungBoy. Um, you mentioned he's one of your major influences at the moment, and I think that's pretty dope that you even like express that because I feel like rappers. Um, they have big egos. They don't want to say like, I'm a fan of this person or I look up to this person. Um, what is it about NBA young boy that inspires you and in your music? Oh, uh, shit. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even say, I wouldn't even say look up to him. I would just say like, he just somebody that I'm really like, I really like pay attention to. Cause it's like, he make a lot of music people can relate to. Like, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really feed into like, the bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really care. Like, I'm more so of a person. Like, if you ain't fucking with me, then you like, I ain't fucking with you. I'm cool. Like, I don't have to be around you to make. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gotta fuck with you to make money with you. You know what I'm saying? So it's yeah. more so. Like, I feel like that's what he kind of give off. Like, nigga, I'm gonna do my own thing. I'm mm -hmm. coming in here. Like, I'm gonna do it how I want to do it. And it's like you fuck with me or you don't. Like, yeah, that's who I am. Like, so it's like that's what makes him more so like relatable for me. And then, like you say, the music. Like the music speak for itself. Like when people, when you make good music, quality music, it's hard not to have a fan. You know what I'm saying? Of your music, at least. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to be a fan of the person, but even if you're a fan of the music, there's nothing wrong with it. Right. I feel like he just has a blueprint. I feel like a lot of people should look up to. I mean, he has 13 million subscribers on YouTube just off of his music alone. Like people don't really care about the antics, but just his music alone is doing those numbers. So I think that's a pretty cool blueprint to follow. Yeah, for sure. For sure. So with you, I want to know, what do you feel like you bring to the music game? Uh, shit, I would say like just a different type of style. Like, you know what I'm saying? A different artist to listen to. Like, it's so much music put out here daily, but it ain't a lot of like good quality music. Like, you know what I'm saying? That you gonna mm -hmm. play. Like, you know, like back in the days, it used to be a lot of music. Like, you can play. Like, you know what I'm saying? A lot of music now, you can play it a few times and you gotta turn it off. But I want music that you can like play and play and keep listening to and be like, okay, like, mm -hmm. I wanna really hear what he's saying. Like, that's what I, that's, 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 that's just like how I make music. Like, I don't really just go in there and write about anything. If, if nothing come up to me, come up to me, then I'm not gonna go in the studio. Like, for right. real. Like, cause I, I would rather put out quality than quantity bullshit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's easier to also put out content that's coming from the heart too. Oh yeah, facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like I said, when you're going through shit, it's easy like to to just go lay this down. Like, like I said, that's my way from a lot of shit. So if I'm going through something, if I'm feeling mad, like, I can just go in the studio and talk about it. Like, <laughs> yeah, I need to go to the studio when I'm feeling mad. <laughs> Shoot, I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, little stamp, this was a big year for you. 2023 was major. What can we expect for 2024? Maybe some music collaborations. Yeah, yeah, a lot of big things. Like. Like a lot of big things I got to take coming up, like the start of the year. Like I'm trying to kick that bitch off probably like the first first week of February around that time. I got a lot of uh podcasts I'm going on. I think um there's something set up with on the radio. Like I got a lot of big things going up, but that's that's more so the plan. Like 2024, just straight like you know what I'm saying elevation, and that's that's just been a thing like every year. Like just not being stuck in one place going forward. Yeah. Like even if I'm not, you know what I'm saying this big artist even though that's why I want to be even 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 though that's why I want to be even if I'm not this big artist in 2024 like I want to see the progress I want to at least be farther than where I am now 
I feel like that should be everybody's motto for 2024. Like, why would you want to be in the same place you were last year? Like, it's yeah, all about no, elevation. Can't be. With anything you're doing, like, that's with anything you're doing. Like, you working a nine to five, like, go out there for that promotion. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Facts. Really? Lil Stamp, is there anything else you want to share with us here on thisis50.com? Uh, no, nah, I appreciate all my fans. You know what I'm saying? I'm thankful. Keep streaming for that music. People. Nah, for real. Y'all keep streaming that music. I got a lot of big things coming up for y'all. <laughs>